another chance to see if you can tell just by the shape. Poison oak hardly ever appears in isolation. It's always got something next to it. And here you can see it mixed with the wild mustard. But you can see the way it just sort of stands straight up and it's bright green in contrast to the browns of the mustard. Uh, well, the yellow mustard and the dry, drying mustard. But you can see these patches is just straight green in the middle of all of it. And you would definitely want to stay away. Same over here. You've got a lot of it. Most of this is the same color green. And again, these look like they're fairly new plants that have come up because somebody plowed and so they come up from the... they spread through their roots in the ground. And so you put those roots underground and they're going to sprout. So that's what this patch is. And also this one. Now it's interesting to note that these are very bright green, except for these um, leaves here that look like they're either beginning to turn because of the fall or they're newer leaves. My guess is they might be getting ready to turn. But right behind this, and you can see the two together, you can see that they contrast. It's all poison oak. But the plants behind here, for some reason, are darker than the ones right next to them. And I would guess that maybe the one in back is a little older. This one that we're standing in front of still has, looks like it's got a ladybug on it. No, it's got some kind of thing on here. Can't tell what it is. But it, this one is, yeah, this is making berries now. These are blossoms that are finally turning to berries, and we're seeing that. I was waiting for them to turn to berries. These are the ones that haven't turned to berries yet. And these are a little bit how the blossoms look after the flowers die, and they've been pollinated, and now they're making berries. And these berries will get bigger. There, there's some bigger ones right there. I do not want to get too close to this in case the wind blows. But we're finally getting these berries which look a little reddish. They will probably be white or yellow and yet here's some flowers that haven't turned yet. And over here uh, we're seeing the leaves keep changing. And of course we've got mustard interspersed in here. So you have to be careful not to get too close to any of it. That mustard could have also gotten some of the oil on it just because the wind blew it together. So there's your flowers and your berries and then the different colors of leaves. This is the darker plant, and I really can't tell you why it's darker. That would be a good question for a botanist or a real naturalist to answer. And then you have another clump just like this one right behind it, and then another green one right funny next to all, it. It's funny with all this poison oak that only one plant really got the flowers and berries that I've been able to see. It's another one of the darker ones, and it looks like some of these leaves are getting ready to fall off. They look like they're dying. You can kind of see they're either dying or they've got some kind of disease. I hope by now you can tell without even approaching that these two in front of me, the baby and the one behind it, are both poison oak. Now we're approaching that clump I showed you before much closer and you can see right in front you've got a sandwich here. You've got the blooming green, bright green coyote bush in front. And then right behind it, you've got some rather mature poison oak plants. And this one, too, looks as though it's actually part tree. The older parts are down here. They're dead. They're covered with moss. And they're probably just as dangerous to touch as the ones up there that are fresh and green with nice pretty red leaves so that you can tell them apart. And then you can see here another 
pretty well dead clump. But it's still dangerous. And I see one up there. I'm going to try not to get too close to this stuff. There's one up there. You can see has berries in the direction I'm pointing. I can't see it in this small screen, so I hope you're seeing them. But it's right there. The berries are practically in the midst of this dead stuff. And then here you see all manner of leaf color because it's autumn. And you've got the bright green next to the red. These leaves will turn scarlet later on and really be beautiful. Poison oak is a beautiful plant. It's shiny. It's attractive. The leaves are beautiful at any season of the year. And you just have to be very, very careful to stay away from them. Some of the red ones, some of the new green ones, some of these sort of bronze ones behind. I wish I could see the colors through the screen. And then you see some, some really brown ones here behind. You can still see, see it climbing through that big coyote bush too. If you look at that coyote bush in front of us in that kind of gap, you can see you've got coyote bush on one side and you've got poison oak coming through the middle and all through it. So whenever you're going in any place that looks a little bit shrubby or weedy, watch out for poison oak. It might look just like what we've got down here. All dead and you still don't want to get into it. I'm going to approach those clumps on the hill just to prove to myself and you they really are poison oak.